you had a big name coming behind you even when you come into the UFC but judging from the earlier performances now compared to who you're fighting do you feel this is finally the test that you're able to turn around and say this is who I am as a fighter this is where I deserve to be in the division yeah yeah I mean all my fights have been progression and uh, that's something that I've been working on progressing as a martial artist growing up obviously you know I started on the, in the UFC a little young had a, a younger mindset you know more of a up here you know kind of cool and now uh, I want to be the best in the world and that's you know why everyone is here and I had to grow into that had to take a couple of L's and uh, you know I'm, I'm here and I'm ready to go out and perform have the performance of my life. Do you ever feel that maybe fighters can perform very well in the gym that will then prompt their management or coaches to put them into maybe fights that they're not ready for and the occasion gets them? Do you feel that that was a perfect learning curve for you throughout the UFC? Like all the fights that you've taken were the right fights at the time, win or lose, it was the fight that was there or thereabouts for you to win? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they all, you know, I don't go in these fights expecting to lose, you know, all these fights I'm trying to win, so um, they all happen for a reason, everything I believe happens for a reason, you know, I lost the fights that I lost and changed my perspective, made me realize, you know, that I, I want to do more in the sport than just, you know, be an average Joe, I want to be uh, a top-notch athlete, which I am, and I'm, I'm growing up to be that way, have all the right individuals around me, all the hard work, and I'm dedicating myself to this sport and to the martial arts. As a lot of fighters get older, you see the way that they change their the way that they train for example maybe not as many sparring sessions but haven't had someone your brother walk the path before you maybe to go through the trials and tribulations do you feel that he's the perfect guide for you now as someone who was at the top maybe is now bringing his way back up he's the perfect guide for you at this stage in your career to advise him how things are going or how they should be going yeah I mean obviously I've learned a lot from my brother but a lot of it is also from myself my trial and error and stuff that I did and stuff that I had to correct and um, you know it's just a process man we all got to go through it Life is a feeling process, and I'm feeling out this life, and I feel like I'm doing good. Looking at the flyweight division at the moment, it seems like a lot of people are scratching their head about what to do with Demetrius. You know, they're not really thinking who's going to come forward as a clear contender. Is this the performance that you can stake your claim as, like, guys, I'm actually ready for this shot now, sooner rather than later? Yeah, I mean, every performance is that, and uh, definitely Henry Cejudo being number two in division is uh, a bigger name. I'm just seeing it as another fight, though, man. I'm going to go out there, and i got to perform, get to show my skills, and go out there and perform my art, have some fun doing it. So in terms of this opponent, you feel like it's always better to go out and focus on your own game, what you can do, what you're going to do, as opposed to maybe worrying about what he is going to do or going to try and implement in the fight. Yeah, well, winners focus on winning, man. And uh, I'm not really worried, worried about what he's going to do. And that's, that's what I'm really focused on, is just going out there and being the best Sergio Pettis I can be. And if I do that, I know I can perform and succeed. There's a great quote that I think maybe will you'll be able to empathize to, that that's the sort of attitude that you take in training. Uh, great people discuss ideas. Am I right in saying that? Great people discuss ideas, bad people discuss other people. You know, there's no point in talking about other people when you can be focusing on improving yourself. Yeah, that's, that's something that I really embrace is uh, just every day try to be a better Sergio Pettis and a better athlete, better martial artist. And that's something that I really tuned into and I believe that uh, helped me a lot uh, with my career and my confidence and everything else. And then finally, I know you're saying you're focusing on this fight, you don't want to really look past it, but an ideal world, you make a statement, first round, say, dominating finish or three rounds dominating him let's say they put you forward for that title shot next ideally do you want to plan for a guy like that or are you thinking my training is so good I'm feeling this good at the moment let's get it on the biggest card possible the biggest date international fight week's only around the corner let's fight DJ there yeah I mean if that's if that's what the UFC wants uh, they're my boss and I would love to do that you know I'm, I feel like I'm ready now you know I'm, I'm only 23 but my mindset is so different than what it used to be my training is a lot different than what it used to be and uh, you know if that's the next step I would love to take that Perfect. Sir, thank, thank you, you very much